Mr. Hannon and MIP since 1999 and one of the founders of the successful Vote Leave Brexit campaign also claimed Labour is currently led by people who regret the outcome of the Cold War. Speaking to Express.co.uk, the Conservative politician said, The point about Brexit is it gives you freedom, how you use that freedom is up to you. We could become a global trading nation, a Hong Kong or a New Zealand, or we could become a Venezuela, with Corbyn I think we would be much closer to Venezuela than New Zealand, when former Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez, who led the socialist so-called Bolivarian Revolution, died in 2013 Mr. Corbyn showered him with praise. He tweeted, Thanks Hugo Chavez for showing that the poor matter and wealth can be shared. He made massive contributions to Venezuela and the very wide world. Mr. Hannon went on to accuse the Labour leadership of dangerous Marxist sympathies with Corbyn. I think we would be much closer to Venezuela than New Zealand. Image, Getty. Hannon says Corbyn has very little time for parliamentary supremacy. Image, Getty. He argued the next general election will be found between one party that's pro-enterprise and one that is led by people who regret the outcome of the Cold War. He added the Labour leadership represents an alien overseas Marxist tradition and has very little time for parliamentary supremacy, the shadow chancellor, John McDonnell, had previously claimed the fundamental Marxist writers of Marx, Lenin and Trotsky, were his biggest political influences. Last year he told the BBC's Andrew Marr there is a lot to learn from reading Das Kapital, the most notable publication of communist ideologue Karl Marx. Mr. Hannon suggested, uniquely in its history, the Labour Party is led by politicians who are skeptical about parliamentary democracy. He said, nothing in Jeremy Corbyn's career suggests that he regards general elections as the ultimate mandate. Corbyn has represented Islington North in Parliament since 1983. Image, Getty, he's been always been primarily interested in addressing protest movement outside because he sees them as being more authentic. Nothing in his career to date makes me think that he is comfortable with the idea of a sovereign parliament. Mr. Corbyn was elected Labour leader in 2015 in a major upset, having only just got enough nominations from Labour MPs to make it onto the ballot paper. He has represented Islington North in Parliament since 1983. Mr. Hannon argued the UK has historically been fortunate in the moderation of its main left-wing party, and that this could be changing. These are not people who are within the mainstream Labour tradition. Image, Getty, he stated, We've been lucky in this country compared to a lot of places in the temperament of our main left of centre party. The Labour movement in Britain was a long way away from the bloodthirsty revolutionary movements which were common on the continent. Shortly after the election John McDonnell called for everyone to take to the streets to overturn the election result. These are not people who are within the mainstream labor tradition of using parliament as a way of delivering for voters. Mr. Corbyn describes himself as a social democrat and claims to be an advocate for more parliamentary power. In particular, he has consistently argued for greater parliamentary oversight over the UK nuclear program and the deployment of the British Armed Forces.